office and I sweet talked the woman, she was she asked for my number so I gave yeah, it again. Bit flirting, a bit flirting and then and yeah, finally she did. It was good. It's now 2 p.m. and we've made it to Lithuania. We drove through Latvia and the majority of Lithuania now in the past seven hours. Daniel's at the wheel and the plan now is to drive as far as possible to, we're not really sure where. I'm gonna sleep in the back. I think we're gonna shoot for Berlin. So get straight across Poland as well today. Um, but if I sleep for long enough, I might just take over at like 11 p.m. and just keep on driving. But it is, it's all to play for. That's the update. Lithuania and Latvia has been lovely. Um, we didn't see very much of it, but it looks kind of nice. Very good to be back in the EU where you don't have to go through any more borders anymore as well. But the problem is petrol is suddenly super expensive. Well, well it's a euro a litre. Yeah, it's still cheaper <laughs> than the UK. But Relatively. So we've been paying like 30, 40 pence a litre for the whole way. I'm just shut up. Yeah. That's the update. We'll check Wish in luck. And thanks to the magic of editing, the next day we are in France after having driven through. Where have we driven through today? Poland? Germany, Holland, Belgium. We're in Belgium. We're in Belgium. Uh, we're in a traffic jam or a queue. We think, well, we're two kilometres away from the French border um, and traffic's at a standstill. And we booked a ferry from Cali at 5 to 8. For 45 minutes? Yeah, you have to be there half an hour before, so we've got 45 minutes. Um, does anyone guess whether we'll make it or not? Traffic seems to be moving a bit now, though, so. Could be on to a winner. Send it up the back of the, of the lane. Uh, my we battery went. Of of we arrived at Cali Port later than anticipated, and a good run of luck continues. Yeah, Daniel and Jake went to the ticket office, and I sweet talked the woman. She was she asked for my number, so I gave yeah, her a, it a bit of flirting, of bit of flirting, and then and yeah, finally she did. It's good. Nah, best one of those one, things yeah. were true. <laughs> Um, yeah, she changed her ticket to a flexi ticket, I think, so we're just waiting in the queue to get on the ferry that was half an hour later than the one that we booked. And we're almost home. It's very bright. We're almost home. Mental. Brilliant being the UK border guards were so nice, people. like compared to so the, 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 the Iranian and the Turkmenistan border guards. The UK border guards are possibly the, quite ni like the nicest people ever. Yeah, they're amazing. Not what we're used to. And that's us checking on the boat, potentially not on this camera because the battery's about to die, but on another camera. We'll see you then. Small again. I didn't film anything on the ferry. It was a lot like our first trip on the ferry. Insert clips here. I'm really tired. I'm going to go to sleep. Diana's going to drive for a few hours and then we're going to swap around. Hopefully we don't crash. Hopefully. We'll, um, yeah, Jake can't drive because oh yeah, you're Jake, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, Jake isn't insured, so... It's because we decided after his last attempt at driving not to insure him because there's no At point. no point did we die. That's the most important thing. The fourth blanket ban is on Jake driving. He's only broke it twice so far. So... He's currently in second place for most violations. Um, we're going to try and find some coffee and some Red Bull and sleep and drive. Uh, we made it to, where's our finish line? Sheffield? Uh, I don't know. But then I'll be the only one there. Yeah, congratulations. Okay, well our finish line's Edinburgh. You probably can't see it, but that's Jake's house over there. That's the house we left. How many weeks ago? Six. Six weeks ago now. We made it back. Who'd have thought it? How'd you feel? Um, I'm pretty happy to be back. I definitely didn't think we would at some points. 
You should hear the car as well. We're definitely yeah, like me and Daniel are not gonna make it home. <laughs> yeah, I've made it back. It so that's an awesome part. I think. Yeah, it's totally, totally. Like if you totally go less fun. than thirty miles an hour, it makes this horrendous grind, <laughs> and we don't know what it is. Yeah, it's somehow better at lower speeds. No, no fucking no, idea. Worse at lower speeds. Uh, it's somehow better at higher speeds. Yeah, no idea what it is. But Jake's home, and that's it. Oh, Jake is going for a piss somewhere in the street. Just want to go in my toilet. He's going to piss in Jake's street rather than his toilet. Love the fans. We said. Goodbye to Jake, but I just didn't press record on this, so, um, yeah, he's over there. Bye, Jake. Uh-huh. We're, going to, we're going to Durham now. It's about a three-hour drive. Daniel reckons we'll break down in 20 minutes. I think we will. Um, remain optimistic. That's right, Let's go! We've arrived in Durham, but it's like six in the morning, so we have to be quiet. We're at Daniel's. We made it. We made it. I'm so tired. I'm going to go to bed. Fairly good job of making it a little bit almost too real. Like it was just the three of us in the room. We were filming on like a camcorder. She put on her... Okay. I am now literally three miles from my house. And it is now about half past nine. So I've been driving since half past one this morning. I've been driving for eight hours. And um, we were just like, once we get into the UK, it'll be, we'll be so close. But we're still an eight hour drive, which... After this trip has turned into fuck off, like eight hours is fuck off. Um, it's just been weird, like I've been in the car by myself for the past four hours and it's just like six weeks ago and I'd say nearly 13,000 13, miles ago I started off about two miles down the road and it's just like I've just been like thinking about everything that's happened in the past six weeks and that and it's just like it's fucking insane like the car the car's totally gone to shit now like but yeah it's just insane thinking like how far we've gone and like what's happened to us <laughs> come to think of it for the past five days to a week i've really 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 wanted to come home and you get home and you realize like in these four hours I've just realised the opportunities that we've just had like the experiences that we've just had in the past six weeks and it's been unbelievable like un like amazing the, I'd easily say the best thing that I've done in my life is up there and you, do you know what I mean in the past four hours heading actually home actually heading home not just heading in the direction of home like I am I'm three minutes from my house it's just insane. Um, and that's it finished. Mongol Rally 2016 will be over for me in, in about three minutes. It's been mental. Mongol Rally 2016, you've been mental. It's been an absolute pleasure.